so many types of armor to choose from. Which one do you actually go for though? Quick announcement, this took me a while to research, script, record and compile, so subscribing for more content would be amazing and it would help both of us out loads. And be sure to like and comment on what you liked best and what you thought I missed. Be sure to comment your perspective on this. And without the way, let's get on with the video. An important aspect of Skyblock is definitely the armor. You could do quite a bit without, but even if you collected all the fairy souls, it still wouldn't be good enough for you to get through the game for practically anything. There are several aspects when it comes to the armor set, and honestly depends on your progress in the game, and what you want to be doing in a particular category, like combat or events for example. So to begin with, let's look at the armor for beginners. Lapis armor is pretty good, and can last you quite a while. If you are early game and struggling, then check out this early game guide link in the description. The second half of early game, you should look into ender armor. Definitely a go to when it comes to grinding the end. It doubles in the end and it could definitely carry you into mid game. This set is about 150k and worth the coin. Only con is that everyone calls you Ender Non for the duration of wearing it. Mid game features a multitude of armor sets ranging from the different dragon armors, but overall the best armor to get is the young dragon armor and strong dragon armor. Young dragon armor would be used if you wanted to get more money from grinding zealots, and strong dragon armor would be used for things like slayers and loads of other good stuff. These two sets cost you about 1.5 million coins each. Late game would feature things like Mastiff armor, it's mainly used for trial of fire and it's also overall good for the high health points. Not good for a defense though. Another thing for late game would be Shadow Assassin armor, which is better than superior and half the price. Ideal end game armors would feature things like the elegant tuxedo, or even frozen blaze armor. All of these have different uses. The Elegant is terrible for health and defense, but godlike when it comes to damage. When it comes to a frozen blaze armor, along with a level 100 legendary blaze pet, it gives you loads of health and defense, and even strength. The Elegant Tuxedo costs 75 million, and frozen blaze armor costs a whopping 150 million coins. So with the early, mid and late game done, we can talk about different events. The mining event, you can buy the mineral armor. This is a very pricey, I wouldn't recommend for early game, but during the event, you could definitely make millions regardless. Next is a spooky event, you'd need bat person armor. Bat person armor gives cool perks, like a higher chance when it comes to getting more candy, as well as no cooldown on the grappling hook. With Jerry's workshop, you'd need a snowsuit. This gives slightly more presence at the end of each wave and makes your snow glass at infinite use. When it comes to the mythological event, armor is in specific. You just need a griffin pet and an astral spade, and I guess preferably end armor or higher. And last but not least, the fishing event. Early game, you could get by with an angler armor. Mid game, you can use salmon armor. Late game, you could use sponge armor. And end game, you could use diver's armor or shark scale armor. These slowly increase your sea creature chance. I hope that you enjoyed this video, and I hope that it was helped to you. I think I've covered quite a big section. If you wanted a part 2 for more armor sets, then be sure to like and drop a comment on which category you want me to cover specifically. If you want to see more, check my other videos and be sure to subscribe for future videos. It's been your boy Pomegranate and I'll catch you guys later.